Okay, so the Burger King official Twitter account had something to say today that, that could definitely be described as very, very weird. I feel like at this point, Burger King just have a reputation of being a very lazy company. I personally have never tried Burger King, but apparently according to some people, the place is not very good. That's not just my opinion, like, like that, that's literally what people have just told me. Now, before we get into what Burger King said in their recent tweet, I just want to say really quickly that I've started a Reddit page, and it's called r slash Guy. In this Reddit, you guys can post memes, opinions on my videos, and just anything really about me or, or the channel or anything like that. I'll be sure to react to these and post videos on my Reddit on my second channel, Glider Guy 2. So if you want to join my Reddit, it has about 300 members, so you can be one of the early people to join. Just, just click the link at the top of the description and you'll end up right there. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, back onto what Burger King said. Now, as we all should know by now, since basically 90% of my audience are American, uh, but Burger King is basically a fast food chain. It started off really well, but apparently over the last few years, apparently it's been owned by some other company and now it's not as good. I'm not saying that as an opinion. I'm not saying that as a fact. I'm literally just saying that of what of what of what other people have said. I think in Australia we have sort of like a replica of Burger King. It's called Hungry Jacks. I'm pretty sure it's owned by the same company. I'm not too sure on that, but I'm pretty sure like they're, they're sort of similar. And a lot of people in Australia have that have the same sort of opinion on on Hungry Jacks and how apparently it's not very good. I personally think Hungry Jacks isn't too bad, so I, I could imagine that I'd probably think the same thing about Burger King. But enough about my opinions on Burger King because because they tweeted out something today, which are to be completely honest with you, is quite personally just one of the crazy things I've ever seen a verified Twitter account say. I saw this on my timeline about, about 24 hours ago, and I personally, I, I had to look twice when I saw this. This tweet that Burger King tweeted out is probably one of the one of the most weird, funny, and just, I, I had so many emotions when I first saw this. Now, as we all know, uh, I think I think it was Monday. Monday was International Women's Day, so, you know, happy International Women's Day to all the women out there, which, uh, as you all know, is quite a few of you guys, because, uh, you know, obviously, I, I, I am the swag man. But anyway, on International Women's Day, everyone on Twitter was just being normal, you know, just like tweeting out their condolences to all the women out there, you know, just doing what they do best. And then Burger King, you know, just being Burger King, being the absolute weird people that they are, just decided to, they decided to take this a step further. They put out a tweet which uh, which has over 500,000 likes and about 100,000 quote tweets. Which, by the way, getting 100,000 quote tweets on, uh, on a tweet is no easy feat. Like, that is a lot of tweets. But anyway, Burger King decided to tweet out this. Women belong in the kitchen. I'm not even joking. The verified official Burger King account tweeted out women belong in the kitchen on International Women's Day. I don't understand how you mess up that badly and post something that, that insane. Like, holy. This tweet absolutely exploded. In about three hours, it had about 300,000 likes. I think it was something like that. Like, it literally went viral and for very good reason. Now, the thing is with Burger King is that they did actually tweet out under this a bunch of stuff, but just the initial tweet, like, imagine just seeing that on your time line. The official Burger King account tweeting out that. Like, that is probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen an official Twitter account tweet out. Twitter is literally a different planet, bro. Like, the amount of stuff that that, that, that gets put on there is just nuts. So, after Burger King tweeted out this absolute abomination of a tweet, they decided to, to reply under it. They said this. If they want to, of course. Oh, yeah, because, because that original tweet just makes it a lot better, doesn't it? Yet, only 20% of the chefs are women. We are on a mission to change the gender ratio in restaurant industry, empowering the female and employees with opportunity to pursue a culinary career, International Women's Day. Now that reply, it's great and all, you know, they're, they're sort of empower empowering females to become chefs. I, I, I don't I don't really know the whole context of it. I don't work at Burger King or Hungry Jack, so I wouldn't know. But just that original tweet alone, like imagine just seeing that on your timeline. That is absolutely hilarious. And just talking about this reply that they've just done, apparently how 20% how of chefs are women. I don't really think that that has anything to do with like, uh, like men being favoured over women. I think that just has something to do with the fact that women just just, just don't want to be in the kitchen as much. I don't know. Like, I guess just that's just how it works. Like, I, I've seen I've seen at many different fast food restaurants. It's mostly the men that are in the kitchen and uh, and the women who are like serving out front. I don't know if it's just me and the places that I go to, but th th that's just personally my experience. I, I don't know if it's different anywhere else, but that's just personally my experience. But Burger King, bro, like, come on, how how have you messed up this bad? They literally got caught in 8K. Like, this is insane. And then Burger King replied again, saying, "We are proud to be." launching a new scholarship program where we will be, uh, where, where we will help female Burger King employees pursue their culinary dreams. I don't personally know who would be wanting to pursue a career in Burger King since it's literally a fast food chain. If you're doing that, then there might be something wrong with you. Actually, no, I'm kidding. If you pursue a career in fast food, then, then go off. I, I don't really care. But anyway, uh, of, co of course, since uh, Burger King, the lit literal verified Burger King Twitter account, tweeted out women belong in the kitchen. Of course, a lot of people got offended by it. And I mean, I guess it is rightly so. Like, it is 
it is it is kind of like a I, I like again official Twitter account. Now I'm not gonna lie here. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm I'm completely right here. Burger King Twitter account is probably owned by a whole bunch of people like higher up in Burger King because of course having a brand that big and just tweeting out random stuff like just just run by one person is probably not the best idea. I just want to know how on earth did women belong in the kitchen get past the internal team and ended up getting tweeted out onto their official account? Who signed off on that tweet? Who honestly decided that that would be a good idea? And to be honest, I can't really complain and and say and say, oh Burger King, why would you do that? Because them getting five hundred thousand likes on a tweet literally doubled their follower growth in one night, which I mean, a uh, GG, like like bravo. But that is such a damaging thing that they can do their reputation. Like like, don't get me wrong, it is such a it's such a bizarre and odd thing to tweet out on, especially on International Women's Day. But you know, I I I, I guess I guess they're doing it for cloud. You know, cloud is even getting to the companies now. This whole new thing where people are trying to get cloud on like TikTok and Twitter by doing absolutely outrageous thing. Now the companies are all doing it. it, it I, I, I know, 2021, it's a crazy time to be alive. But anyway, Burger King replied again saying, we are proud to be launching the new scholarship, blah, blah, blah. And then a few people were, were sort of replying to them. So I'll read these out now. This is such a weird tweet. How did this get through the higher ups? And that's exactly what I'm saying. How on earth did Burger King really approve to get this tweeted out? Especially considering the fact like it's literally like one of the biggest fast food companies in the world. Like their reputation is everything. And they've tweeted out women belong in the kitchen. Oh my God. We think that it's weird that women make up only 20% of the chefs in the UK restaurant industry. That's why we've created a scholarship to give out more female employees the chance to pursue a culinary career. You know what, Burger King? That, that, that's good and all. You know, you, you're doing a good thing for all the women out there. But your original tweet, women belong in the kitchen, is one of the most bizarre and weird things I've ever seen. Which is what this person basically tweeted out before. Always knew Burger King belonged in the trash. And then Burger King replied with this. What belongs in the trash is a lack of female representation in our industry. That's why we've created a scholarship to do something about it. Yeah, but you know what you've also created, Burger King? You've created an absolute abomination of a Twitter account. 88,000 followers they've gained overnight for tweeting out women belong in the kitchen. Is that really what you want your burger place to be known as? The fast food restaurant who tweeted out something absolutely bizarre. And then KFC Gaming, the official KFC Gaming Twitter account, tweeted out this. The best time to delete this post was immediately after posting it. The second best time is now. That is absolutely hilarious. And then after this, Burger King decided to tweet out a, a response to all this because I feel like that they realize that tweeting out women belong in the kitchen is probably not the best thing to tweet out in 2021. We hear you. We got our initial tweet wrong and we are sorry. Our aim was to draw attention to the fact that we have a 20% professional chefs in the UK kitchen are women and we are trying to change that by awarding com co culinary scholarships. We will do better next time. Okay, Burger King. We decided to delete that original tweet after our apology. It was brought to our attention that we were abusive, uh, that there were abusive comments in the thread and we don't want to leave that space open for that. Okay, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure the reason that you deleted that tweet is because it got absolutely blown out of proportion and you got 100,000 quote tweets basically just absolutely dumping on you as a company. But anyway, go off then. Now, to be honest, my final thoughts on Burger King is that they just have some stupid higher ups in there. Like again, I, I, got, I got to reiterate this. How on earth did this get past the, the initial Twitter team to, to actually get through as a proper tweet? There is no chance that a sane human being saw that and was like, yes, let's have that on our official Twitter account. I don't know. I genuinely don't get it. It makes no sense to me. And uh, to be honest, I, I, I can't wrap my head around these things. Twitter is just a different social media. I got no clue how things work around there. Since I hate Twitter so much and I think it's absolutely a terrible platform, I think that's why you guys should definitely follow me there at Glider Guy with two Ys. I post some amazing stuff over there, so make sure you follow me. Anyway, thank you all for watching the video. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Again, make sure you join my Reddit r slash Glider Guy. It'll be top link in the description. And anyway, thank you all for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.